Underneath your love is where I wanna be. Oh, I never. Hey, you guys, so today I am going to be doing my top six nail polishes for spring. Um, top six, I'm meaning the top. Like, I could have had like 10 or whatever, but I just wanted to narrow it down to the six that I felt like I'm going to be wearing a crap ton throughout the spring slash summer season. I might do a top whatever summer nail polishes, but these ones for spring I just feel are perfection. And they co they cover every color, basically, and I just think they're, they're so pretty. I'm like looking at them. I'm like, I'm so excited to wear and if I haven't already I am just so stoked so without further ado this is a crowd favorite I absolutely love this color this is Essie's mint candy apple this was my first ever Essie nail polish and I cherish this nail polish I love it it's not so much a mint um, it's more of a blue like a baby blue I want to say but when it goes on it's it's like the perfect pastel. I absolutely love it. The color, um, I wish it gave you like a description of what it like actually kind of was mixed with. But I want to say it's like a mint, mint and a blue, more on the blue side. I love it. Um, if you don't know, Essie nail polishes range from $8. So, um, I got this at Ulta and I just, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. And before I shook it up, like you could see the line from, um, where it was like at and I was like yep I've worn that a ton. The next one is one that I haven't tried yet but I just know that I'm going to love because I love all of these nail polishes and that's Wet n Wild on a Trip. It is this beautiful purple color and I want to it's not it's a little bit darker than a lavender. This reminds me a lot of Essie's Playdate but this is a little darker. Um, what I love about the Wet n Wild um, mega mega last nail polishes are the brushes and there are the um, manicure bro pro brushes and they're super thick and they just apply so nicely when you're painting your nails um what another thing i love is that these are a dollar 99 i mean you cannot beat that especially if you have a coupon like i think the cheapest i've gotten this for is like 99 cents or less so Gotta love them. It's a pretty color, um, especially because purple. I like purple. Duh. But yeah, it's going to be a great color. You're going to see a lot of it during this. This is probably time. my new favorite nail polish. And it kind of goes along with Essie's Mint Candy Apple. My roommate has this um, on her, I think she has it on her toes right now. And I just love it. And I had to go pick it up. And that is Sally Hansen's um, Mint Sherbet. This is the perfect mint color. I thought like mint candy apple was and then I saw this and I was like no. This is the perfect mint color. I love it. This is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color. Um, and this is like I said a number 340 mint sherbet. Ulta $2.99. Very very reasonable. It's just I just love. It's going to be so pretty especially on like pinks and peaches and it's just going to contrast. I'm just I'm so excited. You guys are going to be seeing me Instagram a lot of pictures with this color. These next two I recently just got and I was going to Instagram a picture and then the picture that I took was like a terrible quality. So I thought I'd just show them in this video and those are my two new Butter Londons. I have never owned a Butter London. I thought paying $15 for like one nail polish was absolutely absurd. And then um, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. They were having a sale that these were $9 a piece, so I went and got three of them. Um, and I didn't show the other one um, just because I just, like I like it, but it's not really like all the time summer, spring kind of color. And these ones are. So the first one I got and I knew I had to have was Trout Pout. Um, wait, yeah, Trout Pout. And it is this beautiful peachy coral color. I am obsessed. When I was like going to look because I already knew that the Butter Londons were going to go on sale. I went to Ulta like two days before and like started picking out the colors that I wanted because I'm weird like that. And I for sure said I wanted this one. I love the color. It's perfect peach coral color and it's going to look awesome when I'm super, 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 super tan. And, and then the I'm next one so I got excited. is this yellow cream color and this is called Jasper. Um, it's just this really pretty lemon color. Um, it I just, I like yellow. I didn't think I had a yellow and I ended up having one. 
Um, I'm still going to keep the yellow. I think this is just going to be so pretty. Um, especially if I use it for like detailing and stuff. Like if I do like little hearts on my nails or something like that. Who knows. But I just absolutely love this color. And these both were part of their um, spring 2013 collection. I'm pretty sure you guys can still get them. They have this really pretty lavender color. But I was like, ooh, that reminds me a lot of Essie's Playdate. And I already have that color. So I had to resist. And then my last and final color is possibly the color of, like, it's in my top five favorite colors. Um, and that is Essie's Butler Please. This was part of their winter collection, I want to say. And I wanted to buy it, and I was like, nope, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. And then all of a sudden, they were gone. And I was so upset. I was like, I seriously cannot find this color anywhere. Ulta, Target, Walmart. Meyer, I could not find it anywhere. I was so upset. So one day, my boyfriend and I went to Target, and they had like six of them. And I was like, give me, give me, give me, need. So I picked this up, and I'm so excited to wear this. It is this beautiful, like, ocean Pacific blue color. This is a lot like um, Sally Hansen's Pacific blue. Winter Rose 84 raves about that color, and it is beautiful on her because she has, like, beautiful red auburn hair. And I'm like, oh, it looks so pretty on you. I wish I could rock it. So I'm like, I'm going to try this one and because it looks so much like it. But I just wanted this one so bad. Like, this one is 8 and then the Pacific Blue one is like $2.99. And I know it's a huge difference. And I probably should have gone with the Pacific Blue because it's cheaper. But I just, I've been looking at this color for months on months. And I, it's finally mine. It's finally mine. And no one can take it away from me. So yeah, this is going to be extremely So that is it for my for top spring, six so nail polishes for the spring. Um, if you have a favorite spring color, make sure you leave it down below in a comment. Um, and make sure you like this video if you love spring nail polishes as much as I do. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.